took science in school, but chances are you never had a class like one on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Tonight, John Snell shows us a group of students raising oysters, but not to end up on anybody's dinner plates. Colin Wood tends to an oyster garden. Seniors in the Marine Sciences Program at St. Stanislaw in Bay St. Louis give the oysters a good cleaning. They take the short walk down the school's own pier to the shoreline of the bay. When I first joined it, I didn't think I'd be so interested in the oyster gardens and everything. I was focused on the fish. This is an oyster shell um, that is covered in baby spat, and spats are baby oysters. Each June, for five years now, Mississippi's Department of Marine Resources sort of lent St. Stanislaw the spat. The babies, about the width of a straw, cling to the oyster shells. We have two oysters in here that have spat. Through the course of the school year, the students grow the spat into something closer to what you'd see on your dinner plate. It's my favorite course. Senior Dayton Hall has learned the value of these bivalves, not just in culinary terms. We live on the water. It's such a great experience to actually learn and know more about the place where you live. And there's so much about this that we're all unaware of. I mean, we just see water. We have no idea of what's going on here and how it affects human life and, and our planet. In this case, the role oysters played naturally in the ecosystem. Oh, 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 oh. The habitat they provide for blenny and other tiny creatures that live among the shells. They live in the oysters mainly and they attack like all other smaller fish. Oysters not only being delicious, but they also help us in many other ways. They are nature's filter, cleaning waterways. Protection, they could also help stop uh, slow down erosion of our, uh, of our shorelines. When you're this involved, when it's that hands-on, it's a whole different level of learning. David and Lagarde and the other students each tend to their own aquarium. It's like a responsibility, a big responsibility at that. Uh, keeping animals alive. A few years ago, they grew almost 10,000 oysters. But then the Bonnie Carey Spillway opening pushed fresh water into the bay. Our oysters were still growing, and as soon as that fresh water hit us, they started to die off. In 2021, even with the spillway closed, heavy rains in the Mississippi Sound were hard on the baby oysters. We typically receive 600 shell covered in spat. Program director Letha Boudreau preaches water. about the harms Just of pollution, sure nurdles, plastics that mar the world's waters, becoming poisonous magnets for sea creatures. And we find these in the strand line, and it takes practice to find them. So those, and I would say in sand, yes. you're finding those in sand yes. along the beach. Yes. On the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Yes. Not some, you know, Pacific, you know, trench or something. Right here. Right here in our backyard. Boudreau hopes the class impacts students long after they leave St. Stanislaw. This is not only a class that they're going to remember, but they're going to continue to make impacts in the environment once they leave. It's using science with the approach of stewardship of creation. That is a powerful thing that these guys learn that they don't even realize they're learning right now, but they are learning it and they will, they will use that in the future. Lessons learned in a living laboratory right outside the school's front door. In Bay St. Louis, John Snell, Fox 8 Local First. Marine Science is actually a two-year elective program at St. Santa's Loss with classroom instruction in year one and then the hands-on work in year two. The state of Mississippi takes back the grown oysters to place them in an undisclosed location.